talking, talking with famous people. ESFJ, weak, Jerry from Rick and Morty, strong, Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray is a person that she doesn't take any sass in her kitchen. In contrast, of course, Jerry would take plenty of sass in his kitchen. Because Jerry's not representative of a real ESFJ, he's representative of a ESFJ manifest as weakly as possible for comedic impact. INTJ, weak, plankton, strong, bones from the TV series Bones. When the INTJ pursues evil in opposition to everybody else, they tend to attain bad outcomes. Whereas when the INTJ works together with others to achieve laudable goals, then they're quite successful. One might also say the moral is, be like the super smart female anthropology crime solver and not like the tiny spiteful ocean going plant. ESTJ, weak Red Foreman or Senior Chang, strong Lois from Malcolm in the Middle. The inclusion of Senior Chang from the show community as a weak ESTJ is likely not going to produce much controversy. Some may object to including Red Foreman as weak from the show That 70s Show, but after all, the kids did get away with murder. Lois from Malcolm in the Middle, in contrast to the two aforementioned, is a very effective ESTJ who makes sure that everything is well taken care of one way or the other in every episode. INTP, weak, Liz Lemon, strong, Spencer Reed from Criminal Minds, or Shikamaru from Naruto. No, it's okay, don't be cry. Seems a classic INTP quote. Whether or not Liz Lemon is actually weak, well, I'll leave that up to the viewers of 30 Rock. On the other hand, strong INTPs are easier to find in media. Spencer Reed is a very smart and effective INTP in the show Criminal Minds, and Shikamaru is one of my favorite INTP characters, the super smart ninja from Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. INFP, weak, the guy who doesn't shoot the German in Saving Private Ryan. Strong, Luke Skywalker or the lollipop guy from the Cloud Village in Naruto. Corporal Upham, played by actor Jeremy Davies in the movie Saving Private Ryan, agonizingly fails to act when he needs to to save his combat mate from the German. This is the best cinematic representation of S.E. Polar causing massive harms that I can think of. Is Luke Skywalker actually an INFP or is he an ISFP? Somewhat in dispute. I would say INFP, although we don't see him do a lot of ideation as we would normally see from an INFP. The character Omoy, who's the guy with the lollipop from the Cloud Village, we see a lot of ideational back and forth from him in the show Naruto. We also see him overcome that SE polar and be very successful in the fourth Ninja War. ESFP. Weak. Patrick Star. Strong. Naruto. You'll always see a lot of unfair representations of ESFPs, caricatures of them, because they tend to be caricaturable. We see an especially reductive caricature of an ESFP in the character Patrick Starr, who's a complete moron. In contrast, we see a character in Naruto who's not a genius, but who's one of the greatest heroes of all time in all of media. So... ESFP provides a nice example of just how striking the contrast between weak and strong can be. ISTJ, weak, Squidward, strong, Les Stroud from the show Survivor Man. So while we are at Bikini Bottom, we might as well visit Squidward's house, a very ineffective ISTJ. In striking contrast, my favorite ISTJ personality, Les Stroud, the host of Survivor Man, who always in very cool fashion figures out how to set up his camp and find the water source and all that kind of stuff. ENFP, weak, Hannah Horvath, strong, Sarah Silverman. A synopsis of the show Girls on HBO reveals immediately why Hannah Horvath is an example of a weak ENFP. The synopsis reads, Hannah is shocked when her parents announce that they will no longer financially support her as they have done since her college graduation. Sarah Silverman is a great example of a strong ENFP. Even though her politics are terrible, she's actually quite funny. INFJ, weak Britta from the show Community 
and Maul from Inception, Strong, Carson Daly, and J.K. Rowling. Now, Britta from Community is played mostly for laughs as S.E. continues to compel itself upon her despite her N.I. objections. Maul is a character who's so consumed by her introverted intuition that she throws herself off of a building and then haunts her husband for the rest of his life. Carson Daly represents perhaps the smoothest and the least awkward of all the television and radio personalities, and J.K. Rowling is famous for writing the most successful, in terms of sales, series of all time, Harry Potter. ISTP Weak Peter Griffin or Jesse Pinkman from the show Breaking Bad. Strong Steve Jobs or Sherlock Holmes. Okay, first off, Jesse Pinkman, ISTP or ISFP, tough call. Regardless, he's weak, and in that show, he's weak because of the ways he contrasts against Mr. White, namely, his lack of intuition makes him weak. Peter Griffin from Family Guy, well, he's just a buffoon, but that's sort of a caricature of what it looks like to totally lack extroverted intuition. Now, a lot of people probably think Sherlock Holmes, he's not an ISTP. The hell he's not. You'll note he's not generating ideation at all. He's simply solving existing ideational problems with his introverted intuition in the third slot and his TI in the dominant slot. And obviously, thus positioned professionally, he's very well suited to succeed and is a strong ISTP. Another strong ISTP is Steve Jobs. Again, somebody who uses third slot introverted intuition. ESTP. Weak. Ted from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Strong. Joe Rogan. The negative stereotype of the ESTP focuses a lot on the SE and ignores the TI part. An example being Ted from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, played by Keanu Reeves. Another example of this character would be the guy who's interviewed after surfing in that one vine where he just talks about hitting the lip and the sounds it makes. In contrast, a strong ESTP is shown in Joe Rogan, somebody who's intelligent, but who's primarily making his hay via his third slot extroverted feeling. Remember, that's where a type manages to accomplish their goals for themselves. ENFJ, weak. The guy who put on the fire festival, F-Y-I-R-E. Strong, Oprah, Guy Sensei from Naruto. When an ENFJ is weak, they are, as is said in Texas, all hat, no cattle. Such is the case with Billy McFarland, the gentleman who put on the fire festival that never happened. I guess you could argue he's a strong ENFJ, because he definitely demonstrates what it looks like when you fake it really well. Not all ENFJs, however, lack cattle. Take Oprah Winfrey, for example. Also on this list, Guy Sensei from Naruto who's absolutely one of my favorite characters and is always being a team player. ISFP, weak, Rose from Golden Girls, or Chris Griffin. Strong, Phoebe from Friends. Both the ISFPs represented here on the weak side are examples of a reductive caricature of an ISFP that only says dumb things for comedic effect. But of course, Wise ISFPs understand the half of life that's non-verbal, and that is demonstrated by the character Phoebe from Friends. ENTP, weak, Tucker Carlson from Fox News. Strong, Chandler from Friends, Iron Man. Okay, so let me stress right out the gate, the reason Tucker Carlson is a weak ENTP has nothing to do with his politics, it has to do with his poor argumentation. His defense of Trump's free speech rights was nonsensical the other night, My dad watches Fox News, and he's the one who relayed the line of argumentation to me, as he, an ESTJ, proceeded to express contempt and disdain at the poor argumentation. If an ESTJ is bashing the argumentation of an ENTP correctly, that's a weak ENTP. Strong ENTP characters are quite common in media. I've selected Chandler here because he's at least a realistic ENTP character. Somebody like Iron Man is not realistic because ENTPs don't actually have that good of extroverted thinking to invent all these things. ENTJ, weak, Tom Cruise's character in Tropic Thunder. ENTJ strong, Madara from Naruto, Azula from Last Airbender, or Mr. Big from Sex and the City. Tom Cruise rather hilariously portrays the ENTJ gone wild as Les Grossman in Tropic Thunder. This character is ridiculous, over the top, probably evil, but is he actually weak? Well, that's kind of an open question. 
On the strong side, characters such as Madara from Naruto Shippuden, who though the villain is a very powerful character, and Mr. Big from Sex and the City, a character who's got an enormous amount of sway, despite the fact that he's not in the show that often. In the middle, we've got a character from Last Airbender. It was suggested I include it here by other parties. ISFJ, weak. Patty Mayonnaise from Doug. The red-haired girl from Strangers with Candy. Or Shirley from the show Community. Strong examples of ISFJs include Ben Scully and Marge Simpson. Patty Mayonnaise represents a fairly realistic vision of an ISFJ, mild, easy to push around, as represented in the show Doug. In the show Strangers with Candy, Tammy Littlenut, the red-haired girl, is the quintessential ISFJ subject to Jerry Blank's bullying and protection accordingly. Lastly, there's the character Shirley from the show Community. She has a clear understanding of what's important to her, home and hearth, and yet never seems to make a clear decision to go there, always being pressured into extended study groups by her friends at the community college. On the strong side, we've got Vin Scully, perhaps the greatest baseball announcer of all time, and the always effective, if somewhat worrisome, Marge Simpson. Talking, talking with famous people.